Hello and welcome to Fully Charged. This is a show about electric cars and the future of transport and energy. And what you can see behind me is a classic petrol heads fantasy. It is the Porsche 911, circa 1979. It is a classic, classic motor. Except this one's a bit different. So Richard, this, look at this, dang it. A thing oh, of beauty. It is a thing of beauty. <laughs> what era is this then? Because it, it's this not is, a brand new one, is it, by any no, means? No, this is a 1979, or was a 1979 SC Targa, which had a 3.2 litre engine in. And yeah, a very nice car in its day, but when we got it, it was kind of on its last leg. Was it a runner when you it got it? It was a runner -ish. Just about, right focus on the ish so we had to do a complete restoration on this but i mean it looks immaculate now so it isn't just that you've converted it to an electric car you've kind of rebuilt it yeah th there's two kind of things that we do we, we do complete restorations and then electrify or right. we take a, a pretty good car um and then just do the electrification but on this one is a full-on restoration that we had to do new wings bare metal respray a complete ground up restoration on this. Wow. And what we've also done as well is a little bit of styling. So you'll see some things like the uh, chrome headlights uh, rims, because normally these are color coded, LED headlights. So we've done a little bit of what's called a soft backdate on this as right. well, which has given it a little bit of a nice retro styling to it as well. It's now pure electric. It's not, because often people say, oh no, is it a hybrid? No, no, it's not a hybrid. No, we don't. So, like has, that. I mean, can you? Is there any way of seeing the? Because yeah, I love the way you fit the interiors. Is the, the motors are the motors visible in this one, or is the it, motors and the battery packs are not visible because right. there's a cover on the motor and the battery packs. Obviously, it's not safe um, to have people just accessing right. the battery. Yeah. So you need a tool to get to them. This is different to the Volkswagen Beetle that we we went in. It, it, it's different, but it's kind of the same basics. Let's say right. so. We've got a front and back uh, battery pack. So this is a fifty four kilowatt hour battery pack wow. using Tesla Roadster batteries. Right. Uh, we've got, you remember the Red Beetle that you came uh, for a drive in last time? This has two of those motors end on end. Wow, because that, that Beetle wasn't sluggish. No. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this has two. Yeah, this has two. So right. we've wow. got 54 kilowatt hours of battery pack, which is good enough for about 200 mile range wow. if you're driving sensibly. Um, just like any other car, petrol car, if you drive like, a, like me, yeah, that range might come down. Yeah. But sens sensibly, you'll get 200 mile range out of it. And a 0 to 60 on this now with the um, electric motor is about half a second to a second less than when it had the big 3.2 lump in it. Wow, so it's very comparable to when it was at, at its racing peaky, Absolutely. burning up the road in your yeah. Porsche. Yeah. Because this really is, I mean, it's a port, this is the sort of Porsche that you would drive when you had a really big phone. It's that era, isn't that's it? That's it, really? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody that's uh, owned or knows about Porsches, oh, wow, when I do this, space there. they will fall off their chair. Right. Oh my God! Now there's, now there's a boot. <laughs> yeah, no, I have seen in the back, and that's full of very complicated German engineering normally. Yeah, that wow. smells and drips yeah. oil on your drives. Drips oil on your drive yeah. and breaks down. But now this is a boot, so the, the roof, for instance, is a target roof, so it folds up, the, the roof can and go And you can put there. the roof in there. Wow. Mm -hmm fit some bags in there if you're going uh, to the coast for the, for the day. Have you done this for a customer? Is there someone that's... Correct, that's, yeah. That's so someone this that, is yeah. a customer car um, that has been converted to electric, restored to the highest um, standards, and uh, this is getting delivered actually in about a week's time. Right. So we're just doing Fantastic. final snagging right. on it now, and we'll probably do another buff and polish on the paint, and it's ready to go. Right. So Richard, what I want to see is how batteries have changed, even in the time you've been doing electric cars, because that is what was in the red... That was in the red in Beetle the red that Beetle we um, had a play last in year. last year. This is a Tesla Model S battery, right. of which in your car there is 16 of those in your car. So this is kind of a Tesla Model S in the box. Yeah, that's amazing. So when they're in the Model S, they're laid absolutely All flat, flat out like that. All um, flat yeah. in the floor pan. And then this is essentially uh, what's in a, a Tesla Roadster or a, no. or a Mercedes Smart Car, electric cars right. have these in as well. So as far as energy density is concerned, um, that's half a kilowatt hour. Right. That's 5.2, 5.3 kilowatt hours, I think it is. Right. And this is about three. But what's amazing is this one. So yeah. what, this is half that's a half. kilowatt hour. So, so if you do it that, because it's roughly the same thickness that that's way. That's right, yep. But if you had one, so one <laughs> two, two, three, that's one and a half kilowatt hours. Correct. 
And this is five, so yeah. it really does you, show very clearly. Yeah, if, if we had to get 80 kilowatt hours in the Range Rover, which is what these are destined for the Range Rover, right. 80 kilowatt hours um, with those, we would not have much car left to sit in. <laughs> and I mean, that is now probably two or three year old. I mean, the net, so like the 100D, same size batteries, but with 15 kilowatt hours more. So clearly they're, they're, they're working towards greater energy density. Yeah, because if you think about it, the, the electric motor really hasn't been no, uh, no evolved no. since the uh, days of Edison and Tesla yeah. themselves. Uh, but the battery technology is just going. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> That is a very good noise. I like that noise. It's the noisiest part of the whole car. <laughs> Seriously, if we go now, and we're moving. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's much quieter than the window. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh. <laughs> You've driven lots of Porsches and lots of very noisy, very fast ones. Smelly. I've been, never been in one. You know, I now think this is what Porsches are like. Yeah, good, and that's a good thing. <laughs> They're really power quiet steering and smooth. as well. It's great. And it's got power steering. This well. wouldn't have been built with power steering oh, would no. it, originally, no, so no, that no. you've put that in. Put that in, right. yeah. Because there's a little bit more weight in the front. Obviously, we've got a front, right. front battery pack, um, but it just helps with when you're parking. Yeah. Uh, it's a smaller, slightly smaller steering wheel as well, so. Uh, but it's great for parking. And as soon as you get above a certain um, speed, the uh, electric power assist literally goes to nothing. Right. So this is second gear. We haven't like dipped the clutch or anything. And if you put your foot down, you've still got a bit of oomph. Because <laughs> that, that is, it's so weird with an electric car with gears, is you expect it to run out way before it does. You know, in a, in a petrol engine, you, you go and you have to, I was expecting a gear change two seconds before you... Usually when I drive these cars, I have them in fourth gear and I leave them in fourth gear. Yeah. You start in fourth gear, you can go up to 130 miles an hour in, th right. in fourth gear if you want, but normally I leave it in uh, one gear. Unless you're feeling that way inclined and you want to get a bit sporty and you can go up and down through the gears <laughs> and you can feel uh, as if you're in rally mode or whatever, yeah. but... Uh, it feels, yeah, I can tell it's got sort of sports car ride. It's got a harder... Yeah, you know, I mean, it's got I, a, a I've set this, ride, it? set this up for, um, you know, a bit of a sporty ride if, if right. required, but not too sporty, not like yeah. a Beetle. That's, no. that's more like a go-kart. Right. So how many gears have you got? Have five. You got, there are five, right? Yep. Yeah. Once you're up above, you know, 70 miles an hour or whatever, you can put it yeah. in five. It'll probably do 150 miles an hour if, if, you, if you have the kahunas for it. Right. <laughs> we won't be doing that today, though. No, no, no. And for that, I'm very grateful. Yes, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> yeah, on this car, there's two modes. There's eco mode and power mode. So. Right. If you really want to get the maximum range out of the car, you're doing a 200 mile journey, for instance, right. pop it in eco mode. You won't even know that it's an eco mode really when you're driving it, apart from the fact that when you're decelerating, it's you, just you, more you aggressive more regen. regen. Right. And, and so you reckon it will, it would, you, with, with careful driving, you would get around 200 miles in this one? I did 200 miles in this the other week. Wow. wow. Uh, this will get me from Mid Wales to Reading. Wow. Um, I mean, it's not careful driving either, it's just like sensible yeah, driving. Yeah. Um, I'm sure with careful driving, you probably get a little bit more. Right. It's, if you think about it, this is a 54 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, in a small two seater car. In a small yeah. two seater yeah. aerodynamic car. Yeah. I'm trying to do is get him without grunting, but I'll just I'll just quickly do that. So do I need to put foot on brake? Is that on? That's on, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't do you want me to make noises for you. Run, we're on, Rob. <laughs> just don't press the go pedal yet. It's got a go pedal. Got to remember which is the go pedal. So now with the go, and it's got a handbrake. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Oh, because I'm just what I'm getting used to. <laughs> it's the wing mirrors, which I absolutely agree are exquisite. Um, uh, need to be adjusted. Period, but I can't see. I can see some road in that one and some car in this one. There we go. Oh, let me put this up because I like the sound. No, that one. Oh, oh I see what you mean about power steering. Yeah, because I remember the the VW was heavier. Well, I don't even know what gear I'm just in. Just leave it in second. I'm fine. in second. Right. Literally, go stop. Just yeah. Don't have to worry about a clutch pedal. Just go and go and stop. 
Not too much of the go there, no. please, Robert. I'll be easy, go easy on the go. <laughs> More stop than go. <laughs> wow, this is it's so weird. This is the first time I've driven a Porsche. Oh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. It's certainly got a little bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's extraordinary. It's not the thing that the, your crazy Teslas have, is that massive punch in the back yeah. right from the get-go. This one has a little bit of a slow build-up, but, what, but what's frightening is it's like you're going down a hill that starts shallow but then gets steeper because it just keeps bloody going, doesn't it? We program the cars up to the uh, customers. So this, right. even though it's got the same setup, if you like, as the Beetle, the crazy right. Beetle we were in before, yeah. uh, my silver one, not the red one that you filled last time, I've softened up the acceleration a little bit. From because, the very, from that sort of, because that's that brutal kick that yeah. is quite... I mean, you'll still get it if you put this in first gear, for instance, right. you'll still get quite a kick out of it but it's certainly not as crazy as right. the uh, other car. Yeah. So I, I just programmed it to be a little bit softer on the uh, uh, acceleration. Yeah. A bit of handbrake, corner. I could, have, I could have spun the back out, but I didn't think I should. <laughs> Henry's the uh, customer and he will be watching yeah, this. Yes, sorry, Henry, I'm do, being very careful and I'm very anxious. All right, let's try it, let's try it. <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> now then, what about if I do that? Yeah, I changed gear in an electric car! <laughs> Dear diary, today Dear diary, was a good day. Today yeah. was remarkable. So yes, that has got some serious welly when you put it in first. So if you want to do, if you want to show off at the traffic lights, you yes. certainly can do. Oh, it'll keep up with it. Probably anything. Yeah. Apart from a Tesla model, whatever, in yeah. ludicrous mode. Yeah. It's got some good punch. Oh, that's very impressive. Grab that. <laughs> it's not a fairground ride, Robert. <laughs> what's, what's alarming is that the more often I do it, the worse I take the corners. I <laughs> know, oh, that's, that's a tight racing line, right? Oh, oh sorry. Oh. <laughs> Better wheel spin, sir. <laughs> but I must say I've had enormous fun driving this. The first Porsche I've ever driven and it's electric. It is a gold star in my school diary. It is ticked off the bucket list. What a privilege to have a go in it. Fantastic conversion, absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that's it. Uh, please do subscribe to Fully Charged uh, if you want to and also just have a little glance at the old Patreon link that's down below this video. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.